Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. We have several developing stories we're following this morning, but let's get right to the November supply demand report, which offered up some changes to yields. The USDA raising the size of the corn crop again. Now here's a breakdown. USDA putting corn yields now at over 172 bushels to the acre with production forecasts at almost 14 billion bushels. That's up 35 million from last month. Soybeans now at 50.2 bushels to the acre. Forecasters specifically saying higher yields in Iowa and Missouri account for much of the change. Production, it came in at 4.35 billion bushels. That's up 33 million. The numbers about what was expected from the trade. Corn ending stocks were raised slightly to 1.18 billion, but below trade expectations, with soybean ending stocks raised to 220 million, which was above estimates. The bean carryout grew by about 20 million. That's roughly 5 to 10 million higher than the average trade guess. Probably the biggest surprise was the corn carryout. It only increased by 10 million, and the government left exports unchanged. Meanwhile, wheat stocks were lowered 5 million bushels to 571 million. That's the lowest level in 15 years. Ag Day's Michelle Rook will have a further breakdown of the numbers along with market reaction coming up in analysis.